Hi, I'm Liam Mucklow, Head Teaching Professional with the Golf Lab. And in the third installment of our Golf Concept Series, I'm going to give you a basic introduction to ball flight law. There's two key aspects of ball flight law that we're going to cover today. And I'm going to use this tennis racket here to help give us a better visualization. The first thing that we need to understand when we watch any golf shot that we hit is that when it curves, it curves because there's side spin in one direction or the other. Doesn't matter if we're right-handed or left-handed, hook or slice, the ball is spinning sideways. The second key point that we need to understand is that the ball will always leave the club face at 90 degrees. It's impossible for it to go off at any different angle. So when we look at a shot that starts directly at our target, we know that the club face was pointing our target at the moment of impact. When that ball curves off in either direction, we're able to deduce the path that the club head was traveling in upon approach to the ball. So if the ball was to curve from right to left with a counterclockwise rotation, we're able to deduce that the club head was traveling in this direction with the club face pointing the targeted impact, causing it to start on line and curve. Conversely, if the ball was to curve from left to right, the club head is going to be traveling in the opposite direction with the club face still pointing at the targeted impact. To give you an idea of how this looks with a golf club in my hand, I'm going to go ahead and hit two shots here. And I'm going to use this pool noodle in order to help you better visualize the swing path. The first shot I'm going to hit, the ball will curve from right to left. This is a draw for the right-handed player. And you'll see that this pool noodle is going to help you visualize the path of approach of the club where it's going to come from in here, it's going to make impact with the club face pointing at the target, and it's going to continue on in this direction. Let me go ahead and hit that shot. Okay, now the second one that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ball right here, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take my pool noodle, and I'm going to have it going out in the opposite direction. And this is if I want to make the ball curve from left to right. So in this one, the club head is going to approach the ball from the opposite angle, still with the club face pointing at the target, continue on in this direction, and that's going to cause the ball to curve from left to right. So you can see from both of those shots that the divot is indicative of the flight of the ball. The first shot, which was a draw, you can see where the club face entered square, proceeded through the ground, that would cause that counterclockwise rotation on the ball. And for the second shot, the curve from left to right, again you can see that the club entered the ground square to the target, but traveled in the opposite direction, which was going to put the clockwise spin on the ball and cause the left to right ball flight. Understanding these basic concepts will help you drastically reduce your scores and gain a lot more control over your golf ball.